Hey there, or should I say good night? It's around about half past 11 and we're on the second leg of this photo marathon that Richard and I are doing. I'm out with Richard Lefroy, link in the description below if you want to check out his channel. When I left you in the last video, we'd finished up with a sunrise, we went back to the car to have something to eat. That took us just a few hours while we were waiting for total darkness in the sky. The moon set at around about half past nine and then we soon moved out just after that uh, in amongst the dunes and of course it's absolutely pitch black if i turn this light off like this that is how dark it is the camera doesn't pick up anything at all in fact my eyes are barely picking up uh, anything at all so it is pretty dark out here so it's a little hard to show you any b-roll or to show you any of the vision of of what it is like out here because it is so dark so i'm just going to have to explain to you the sorts of things that we've been uh, trying out and experimenting tonight it was good that we'd come out here a couple of hours previously so that we knew kind of where we were and we found the last location that we were in it's quite a protected little area which is quite nice because there is a little bit of wind around uh, and this even though we are getting still a little bit of wind in here, uh, we are protected a little bit, which is fantastic. Uh, we've been experimenting with a few uh, different shots. Head over to Rich's channel if you want to check out the sorts of shots that he's been taking. He took a great shot um, just to my left there, uh, featuring some, some dead plants and some sticks in the foreground. I, I'm really hoping that that one turns out nicely because on the back of the camera that looked great. So what's challenging here is to try and work out your composition. So there's a few things you can do. I've got my camera uh, set up with the settings that I want for astrophotography. So let me talk you through that first. Uh, I'm using the 500 rule. I've got the 14 to 24 mil lens on and I'm wide open at 14 mil. Now using the 500 rule I divide 500 by 14 mil and I can work out then uh, the shutter speed the maximum shutter speed that I can use before I start to blur the stars and they start to uh, blur or, or start to streak and, and I don't want that at all I want them as crisp as I possibly can uh, so that turns out to be around about 35 36 seconds so I'm actually rounding that down to about 30 seconds I've taken a couple of shots at 25 seconds and a couple of shots at 30 seconds. I'm shooting at ISO 1600 and I'm getting a fair amount of light at that. So I may actually later on uh, bring that down to maybe closer to uh, 1000, maybe 800, but I'm still getting a pretty good shot, I think, at uh, ISO 1600. My aperture is wide open. I want that to be as wide open as possible because I'm trying to get as much light in as I possibly can. So this lens is a 2.8 uh, lens. So I'm at f 2.8, shutter speed of 30 seconds, ISO 1600. So the composition is uh, quite challenging. There's a couple of things that you can uh, to do to try and uh, work out your composition. One way is to just line up your lens, light the subject up with a couple of torches, line the lens up where we think it is and then just take a test shot and then you, you move and uh, alter your lens and the direction of your camera uh, from there. Instead of taking 30 second test shots you can crank your ISO right up to uh, 3200 or 6400 it means you don't get a great image, but you quickly get an idea that your composition uh, is, is what you're trying to, to get. So 
So focusing out here can also be a bit of a challenge. My subject, the, the dune itself, is completely in uh, the dark, so I, I can't really get a focus there. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the stars uh, as focused as possible. To do that, um, I focus the lens to infinity and I just back it off a little bit. Uh, what I've done in the past is I know that that is where the, this lens is at its sharpest. To test whether my focus is right, I take a shot and then I zoom right in to uh, the stars and make sure that those stars are, uh, are nice and sharp. So we've been experimenting a little bit with the types of shots that we've been taking. It's been a lot of fun. One of the shots that I wanted to get was the a dune that we had previously taken for the sunset and get the Milky Way arching over the top of it. And to do that, I've needed to take a panorama. So for that shot, I moved my camera into portrait mode. I tried my best to level the tripod and then took a series of shots from my left through to my right. I probably overcompensated um, in making sure that there was plenty of overlap between the images. I can't line up each of the images to make sure that there was exactly one third to two thirds overlap, which is what I tend to, uh, to prefer. Um, it was just by sight that I was just moving the uh, lens through the scene and taking a series of shots. I think in the end, I took around about 15 shots. So uh, there's a fair number of shots for me to process. So I've now moved the camera to a slightly different location where I've got just the, the same dune, but a really simple composition of that dune where it falls off to the side and then the dunes behind it uh, are much darker. I've taken a few shots with the camera in portrait mode and also in landscape mode. And I like both of them, but um, I've kept the camera in uh, landscape mode because I've got the the galactic core of the Milky Way sitting right above this dune. So it looks really, really fantastic. On its own, I think it's a really good image. I like it. It's nice and simple. I've got um, a tree on both sides, just in the corners where they cross over with the uh, dune in the background. And so that's really nice as well. But just for a little bit of an experiment and just something a little bit different, and yes, it's a little bit cliche, uh, I lined the camera up and Richard uh, took the shot and I ran up to the top of the dune uh, with the uh, head torch on looking in towards the galactic core of the Milky Way and took a shot of again 30 seconds and that has um, picked up the, the beam of light from my head torch uh, looking towards the galactic core and I, I think that image has turned out quite nice as well. We won't know, of course, for sure until we get these images back and then we can process them um, on the laptop. So I'm looking forward to, to having a look at them on the bigger screen. Anyway, that's what we've done so far. It's about half past 11 at night. It's getting pretty cold, as you can see. I've got um, the gloves on and also the, the beanie, uh, but we're keeping warm. We're now gonna move on to another part of the dunes that we're not that familiar with but uh, it'll be good to just check them out and maybe get a different type of shot. If there's anything there, we'll get back to you. As I mentioned before, uh, we're in this little valley and we're protected by the wind, but we're still getting a fair amount of wind that's blowing the sand around and uh, there's sand absolutely everywhere. It's on the vlogging camera, it's on the, the DSLR, it's on the, the lenses that we're using, it's in our bags, it's in our shoes, um, it's in our eyes. So um, the conditions are still challenging here, but um, still a lot of fun.
So we've made it through to midnight. It's actually uh, about 12.30. So uh, we're going strong still. Behind me uh, is a dune. We've tried to um, put some light on it, fill it with a bit of light so uh, you're able to, to have a look. It's the dune that we're currently trying to photograph. The galactic core is just above it so the composition's quite nice and there's these beautiful lines that uh, that make patterns. Some of them are coming in from the right hand side and leading the eye up to the top of the dune and then further on to, uh, to the Milky Way itself. So we've been experimenting a little bit with uh, how we light the dunes. The previous dunes we were just lighting them with our head torches. We take the shot and then just paint in a little bit of light in the foreground uh, and then moving our way up into the dune itself. That's been really effective. But when we got to this dune, we, we tried to do something a little bit different. Um, I've taken one shot with the dune just lit from the front with my torch uh, and it looked quite flat. So I got Richard to go down uh, to my right hand side and light the dune with the floodlight that's currently lighting the dune behind me just from the side. And what it's done is it en it's enhanced the, the lines. We've got some really nice contrast uh, on one side of the dune, which has been beautiful, and the textures leading, leading up to the dune itself has been really fantastic also. So um, that's been quite effective. I've even used my torch when he's lit it from the right-hand side. I fill in the shadows on the left-hand side as well. Um, just so that it's not so contrasty, but I'll show you some of those images now. pretty much going to call that the vlog at this stage. Um, we're getting pretty tired so I'm not too sure whether we're going to make it for the third leg. What is the time do you know? It's it's after two, a bit after two. So <laughs> we've still got sun sun up at about seven. Sun up at a seven. So we've got another five hours before uh, before sunrise. So we're going to head back to the car. What are we going to do? Uh, I don't know. Play, Sit around play and cards. Shoes, yeah. Tell stories. Right. We've had a great time taking pictures of the Milky Way. It's been a great experience for me. Enjoyed yourself Richard? Yeah, like I, I've barely done any astrophotography before and coming out to a place like this is like, you know, it's one thing sort of going out in the back garden and pointing your camera up in the sky, but coming out to a place like this, which is, it's just a really amazing spot and hopefully, well hopefully I've got some good shots in the bag. I know Andrew's got some good shots in the bag, but uh, yeah, have to wait and see. it's been a great night. It has. Um, so look, I've, I've really enjoyed myself as well. It's been, um, it's been good in terms of finding good compositions, but also um, playing around with a bit of, a bit of light, um, different camera settings. So that's been really worthwhile. So hopefully we're rewarded with some good images. Anyway, if you enjoyed any of the images that, uh, that we've taken, then please give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, go over to Richard's channel and check out his version of this trip. And if you haven't already, subscribe to his channel, subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified when we both upload our next video. But until then guys, thanks very much for watching. See you later.